Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, for today's episode, we're going to be discussing Barca's rough run of form. It's uh, their poor run of form. Uh, well, I'm going to be discussing our recent losses against Cadiz, um, our win against uh, Real Sociedad, and our loss against Rajo Vallecano. Um, now, let's get right into it. Um, since the start of the international, since the start... Uh, since we came back from the international break, um, this Barcelona team has lost its mojo. You saw how at the start of February, we put four past Atletico Madrid, um, we put four past Napoli, we put four past uh, Atletico Bilbao. We, we put up some very good performances, um, and Xavi has done a fantastic job. And then after the international break, we that, that run of format has completely like disappeared. Um, right now we are struggling to to score. Right now we're susceptible in the defense. Um, and before the international break, that wasn't happening. So why is that? Uh, the game against Gadis, um, once again, poor start. Poor start. We we concede early. We can see. Well, we don't concede. Early. We we concede right at the start of the second half. We don't start the second half well, and we go one no down. And then we have to go chase that chase the game. After we didn't start with intensity in the first half, um, the game against against uh, Real Sociedad, we managed to score. We were the first ones to score, but throughout the game, in throughout the second half and the first half, a little bit of the first half, Real Sociedad were all over us. They were completely dominating us in possession. They pinned us back in our own half. Um, we were finishing that game, just praying. To for, for the clock to for the ref to be a little bit so and for the clock to run out. Um, Ter Stegen and Frankie Young were completely immense in that game. They were fantastic, and it's the complete opposite uh, for this weekend's this last weekend's game against Cadiz. Uh, you saw how Barcelona once again started very poorly. Uh, I I believe that in in their goal um, we we concede very early. We we concede in the seventh minute. Uh, you saw how there's a huge gap in the defense. Dest, uh, I, I I still believe, believe he could have done better in in that play. Ter Stegen as well could have done better. Better and the keeper being being beaten uh, in his near post. Uh, I I do believe they uh, they could have done better, but we're not giving them all the fault. Barcelona has a team that's not start well, um, and as as soon as these low block, as you, you give a goal to these. Low block teams, you just make 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 it infinitely harder, and especially when you're low on confidence, that makes it even more harder because now even even when you're not playing well, you're already a goal down, and it's comp- very 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 difficult uh, to get back into the game. You're going, um, you're fighting an uphill battle. Um, so so what could, well, why is Barcelona in this uh, poor run of form? Um, because it, as I mentioned previously. During February, during last month, Bar- Barcelona were, were playing great football. They, they were doing very well. So so why is that? Uh, I, I believe it's a, a multitude of factors. I believe injuries, uh, Xavi's tactics becoming predictable, and fatigue. And obviously, the game, the game against Frankfurt, um, that doesn't help. And also, an international break stopping um, a good run of form. I, I believe all these factors combined um, have resulted in this poor run of form. Uh, going into injuries, missing PK, missing Pedri, uh, two huge figures. It's obviously going to affect the team. Having Pedri being the link between midfield and attack, um, being able to distribute the ball so well, uh, being able to score clutch goals when we need to. Um, he's a, he's we don't have another player like him in the squad. He's he's special. He's he's our gem. Not having Ansu Fati for, for the rest of the season um, is a huge blow because he's such a clinical and and fantastic player. He's a fantastic finisher. He's extremely clinical, and having him up front where we can have different options, we can have a different touch of quality. Barcelona is obviously going to suffer when we don't have these players on the pitch, and especially peaking in the back being. S- being one of our best defenders this season, putting in some great performances under Xavi, he was 
fantastic. He's such a great leader. He um, he organizes the defense and not having such a key defender obviously makes it harder for any any team. Um, but these injuries are not an excuse once again because um, we have a team and we cannot use excuses as we, we cannot use injuries as as excuses. Um, another factor I, I, would, I would think is uh, fatigue. We are our, our recent one of games. We've been playing almost every four or three days, every three or four days, um, and no team in the world can play three every three or four days and play at at high. That's at such a high intensity. That plays such great football. It simply doesn't happen. You need rotations. You um, you bring in other players, but the same starting eleven. It's very, very, very difficult to to replicate great performances after great performances, playing in in such a rapid fashion. You saw how uh, our last three games, uh, our last three games were played in seven days. Three games in seven days, um, especially after a huge blow against Frankfurt that just completely, like, demoralized the team. It makes it even harder. Um, that that's one factor, and another factor that I. Had, but I think is also is the motivation and Xavi's tactics becoming predictable. You know how uh, Barcelona is weak in the transitions. Um, our defenders are very slow. Um, Jordi Alba was not the great greatest defender. So all you need to do, low block. And since Barcelona is currently struggling with uh, unlocking the low block, you just hit on the counter with, with, with pace. Um, be fast in the transitions. Play with intensity. You saw how Frankfurt and... Uh, how Frankfurt just completely took advantage of that um, and how we didn't start well uh, how they played on the front foot they played with intensity uh, they played in the quick transitions and they took advantage of that and be, we were they beat us in the tie um, and since we're not starting the games with intensity with motivation um, because right now after the loss in the Europa League after the losses in the in the how we were knocked out in the Champions League, how we're 15 points behind Real Madrid, knocked out of the Copa del Rey and the Supercopa. Barcelona has nothing to fight for. Um, we're basically fighting for second place, and that's demoralizing um, because as a Barca fan, you want to achieve the best. You want to compete because second place, that's not acceptable for Barcelona. Second place is losing. Um, Barcelona is, is such a huge club um, that it's the best club in the world. And Second place isn't uh, uh, acceptable. So having these players go on to the pitch, knowing that they're fine for second place, you think, what for? So um, it makes it even harder to perform at a high intensity. But we have to think that the season is not over. We're still fighting for a Champions League spot. We can't just think that we're going to magically achieve that Champions League spot. No, we have to win the games. Um we have to keep we keep we have to keep playing well. Um we can't keep dropping points like we're doing right now. Um because and when you when you look at the standings, we're we're only a couple points off fifth place of uh, Rob Batisson with with uh, fifty seven points. We're current we're currently six points ahead of Rob Batis. That we lose two games and then win two and we're in the Europa League. We we can't keep this up. Um, this team has had right now. They have a couple of days of extra rest. They have a seven days before the next game. So Barcelona need to take full advantage of this and and recover because we have huge games this season. The Champions League spot is vital not only for next season where we have to play where Barcelona. It would be embarrassing if Barcelona to not qualify for the Champions League, but to also bring in players. We're talking about signing Lewandowski right now. Um, we're talking about bringing in players like Christensen, Kessie, um, Masuari. Uh, what would what, these players? They're high quality. Why would they choose Barca, playing in the Europa League versus playing, let's say, in a Bayern or in a Real uh, in the Champions League? So for that reason, Barcelona needs to qualify for the Champions League. It's it's, it's a must. That's the number one priority. So these players cannot think, oh, I'm going to just show up and then because we're Barcelona, we're going to win the game. No, you have to match the intensity that these teams are giving. You have to show that you're Barcelona, not just not just say it. Um, and then it's also 
the back to to the factors just the how our great run of form was interrupted by the international break that's not helpful and that 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 completely just um basically just interrupts our great run of form it makes it and then you have to pick it back up again but now looking at, at the rest of our games we have five games where we there were it's five finals the next game is, is on sunday against mallorca we need to take advantage of that we're playing at, at home so we need to be at absolute best and we need the fans to to, to to turn up because during recent games um the fans have been showing have been protesting have, have been showing their frustra- frustrations um with the La porta and the barcelona board which i don't really understand because most of the problems that Barcelona are showing right now have been inherited from the Bartomeu era. For example, a lack of squad depth, poor management, um, the, the scandal regarding the tickets, these rules that are in place. It's not like oh, this is all the is doing. Um, I, I do believe that the club has some fault, but they're not the main culprits of this whole situation. So I, I believe we should go support and, and support this team in, in this difficult period. Um, and with these seven days of rest, they're going to have a fantastic chance to, to recover. Um, so this was me explaining just what I think was, uh, the poor, the poor run of form discussing the, the weekend's games, uh, last week's game, the game against Cadiz. Uh, this, the game against Cadiz was very similar to the game against, uh, Rajo. Um, they, they score a goal. Poor, poor star from Barcelona, and then they just sit back and just we just cross endless, we just cross endlessly and hope to connect. Um, we become desperate, and that's not the Barcelona style. We can't, we cannot be desperate. We need to have patience when we play. We need to be confident um, because crossing, crossing, and hoping someone gets to the end of it is not is not going to work, and that's not Barcelona. That reminds me of the Ronald Koeman era, and we saw how disastrously that ended. Uh, we can't repeat that. Um, so we need to bring back um, the quick transitions to our play, the crisp passing, um, the the quick the quick movement, the quick movement intensity, high pressure. Um, we need to make sure um, we have this in, in the next couple of games. Um, but th- th- that was all for for today's episode. Uh, a quick rundown of my thoughts on the Barcelona situation right now. Um, but not all is doom and gloom. Um, we saw how Xavi basically turned this team around. Um, and this is a project. This is a long-term project. Um, we can't, we can't just give up on Xavi. Um, we need to have faith in him. Um, we need, we, we need to believe that we, because remember, he's only been here a couple months. He came in, in mid-November in, in the middle of the se- in the middle of the season. Uh, we need to have faith in him and he's, he's shown it. We, we know how how great this team this team is capable of and with a couple good uh acquisitions this team can try can challenge for titles next season um so all we need for we need to focus the season is not over and we need to achieve that second spot because we need a champions league and then we will g- uh, go at it again uh, next season um, so that was it for today's episode in the Cool Way Podcast. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comments, uh, what do you guys think of Barcelona situations. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys all next time. Bye, guys.